Russia has conducted a test flight of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Kapustinyar test site in Astrin region, Russian Defense Ministry reported. According to the report, the flight was carried out within the framework of the state test of missile systems, as well as the durability of missiles in service. The Ministry of Defense announced that the launch tasks were fully completed and Russian missiles were proven to be fully capable of ensuring the country's strategic security. The ministry did not specify which missile was launched. Бля, ну здесь это ядерное оружие. Побраться. Все, съебало, сейчас все пойдет вот сюда. Чуть долбоеб, оно ушло в стратосферу нам. И что это? Russian factories are rushing to purchase anti-drone equipment, there is no relying on the military. Increasing Ukrainian drone attacks are forcing Russian companies to look for ways to protect their own plants and factories instead of relying on the military. In the coming quarters, Russia will likely be able to make its oil refineries and other high-level facilities less vulnerable to drone strikes, said economist Alexander Isakov of Bloomberg Economics. Much of the action was taken during a period of relatively lax enforcement of trade sanctions, including on imports of electronic components, he said. According to one of the local electronic procurement platforms, TenderPro, about a third of all tenders for the supply of UAV protection systems were carried out by oil and gas companies. Industrial and mining companies account for 28% and 10% of cases, respectively. The war has led to explosive growth in the electronic warfare market and production has not yet kept pace with demand, said Andriy Klyoev, general director of local radar equipment manufacturer Umias. The threat is growing much faster than manufacturers can cope with it, he emphasized, speaking at a conference on the counter UAV technologies in Moscow. Electronic warfare capabilities are not invulnerable to drone attacks, but can significantly limit the damage. These defenses prevented a strike at the Slavneft plant in Yaroslavl, Russia's sixth largest oil refinery, which purchased its defense systems from a subsidiary of state corporation Rostec. According to Bloomberg, estimates based on data from government procurement portals last year State-owned companies and government agencies spent at least 1.7 billion rubles or $18.4 million on electronic security. Much of that spending was aimed at protecting utility and energy infrastructure, including a nuclear power plant 200 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. In addition to expensive electronics, companies are also forced to invest in building physical barriers, strengthening existing structures and ensuring themselves against damage. According to Elena Estafieva, commercial director of the Moscow platform TenderPro, interest in insurance against damage by drones has tripled.